Despite the lawsuit, it is evident that XRP has a great deal of potential to be a worthy investment because its price is still consolidating to rise. In this video, I'm going to share with you about Mark Zuckerberg on XRP integration on Meta. Welcome to Crypto Live. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about cryptocurrencies. So the integration of XRP with Meta has been confirmed by Mark Zuckerberg, and there is also a connection between XRP's failure and the SEC suit against Ripple. Yet it was reported that Ripple has the support of the American Presidential Administration. Meanwhile, it is tradition for the Facebook CEO at the beginning of each year to set certain goals, such as learning Chinese, creating artificial intelligence for home, or visiting all the states in the U.S. Then at the beginning of 2018, he set himself the goal of studying decentralization technology and exploring its integration into popular social networks. Furthermore, Mark views the battle between centralization and decentralization as one of the biggest concerns facing the world of technology today. Most people who dedicate their time to technology believe that it will give people more power since it is decentralizing. Additionally, in the 1990s and 2000s, people believed that technology would help decentralize power. However, today, many people have lost faith in this promise. Facebook and the growing trend of state surveillance of citizens with the aid of technology, as well as the emergence of technology giants, have shown that technology tends to increase centralization. Ultimately, Zuckerberg believes, we need to fight this, and cryptocurrencies are essential for solving this problem. Recent developments have led to encryption and cryptocurrencies, two noteworthy alternatives. These solutions return power to the people and take it away from centralized systems. However, they come at the cost of increased difficulty in controlling them. Furthermore, he is interested in understanding the positive and negative aspects of these technologies and what they might mean for our organization. With the help of blockchain technology, security professionals and tech companies from Facebook and Google had already committed to standing up for the digital democracy of the U.S. a year earlier. As far as many in the XRP community are concerned, 2022 brought more progress towards the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple Lab particularly taking into consideration the testimony of experts that concluded on January 19th a stream of news was expected to come from the courtroom. Despite this, the joint letter submitted by the SEC and Ripple indicates that there is a possibility of another delay. Meanwhile, Deputy Attorney General James K. Phelan said in a joint statement that due to the surge in cases of COVID-19 infection, especially in New York, travel problems and unforeseen personal matters of some experts, some cases were dropped. In addition to that, the parties have requested permission to postpone the remaining expert testimony until late February. Moreover, it is believed that the SEC and Ripple have defined the state as of February 28, 2022, and that is surprising because many in the XRP community who were disappointed or angry have been unable to hide their feelings. Also, it is reported that some were even furious that Ripple agreed to the terms. Nevertheless, Philan urged the community to calm down, pointing out that COVID-19 might impact the main players on both sides. According to him, the legal team has not let them down throughout the trial and has not backed down from any really important fight. In addition, he said it will take some time and they should be patient not to attack each other or the Ripple team. Currently, the Securities and Exchange Commission wants to see them attack each other, but they're not allowed to do that. Meanwhile, XRP holders were reminded by Philan that Ripple's opposition to the SEC's request to extend the time for the COVID-19 would be perceived badly by users. The XRP investors, on the other hand, probably believe they have something to worry about, and a number of people owning this asset are disappointed that XRP was left out of the list of major exchanges. According to them, its price performance is directly attributed to the lawsuit. In addition, some XRP holders have had their retirement assets frozen, but there are also frustrations on the Ripple side. On the other hand, Stuart Alderotti, the company's general counsel, cited a statement by SEC Chairman Gary Gensler after the latter discussed how important SEC cases could prevent other companies from expanding abroad. Despite this approach, Alderotti argued that it results in a deterrent effect without a legal definition of good and evil. Since the SEC is playing the delay card, Alderati tweeted, 
Because, after all, that's why the SEC plays the delay card and it uses it to their advantage. So much for justice delayed is justice denied. How about publicly committing to moving the Ripple case as swiftly as possible with no more delays? In the meantime, a token known as Songbird is a canary token issued by Flare Networks that serve as a testing ground for the later token known as Spark. In 2021, Songbird will be distributed to XRP holders, and it will be available to buy on BitTrue's spot exchange. Futures trading will be added to BitTrue's feature set beginning in July 2021. Additionally, the number of coins that are supported has grown every week since their initial launch, and now there are more than 60 coins supported. By launching this new token, BitTrue becomes the first and only exchange to support Songbird Futures trading. Furthermore, consumers will also benefit from 0% commissions, making the platform more attractive to users who provide liquidity and contributing to smoother user interactions. So, Metaverse is viewed as a collection of virtual time and space, composed of augmented reality, virtual reality, and the internet. The Meta-Universe can be defined as a parallel virtual world that is highly interoperable with AR, VR, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, 5G, blockchain, etc. In a study, six characteristics were determined to exist in Metaverse, and these are continuity, real-time, compatibility, economics, connectivity, and creativity. At present, its operativeness is fairly low, primarily due to economic properties, connectivity, and creativity. Through VR technology, the movie Top Player portrays the game's meta-universe from the perspective of the game. Further, Metaverse includes legal currency as well as digital currency for payment. Due to China's current monetary policy for digital currencies, this contradiction between centralized and decentralized currency will persist in Metaverse. To understand payment from the most basic perspective, payment includes identification of people and businesses, identification of goods and services, and agreement on transaction details. However, the future may bring more complexity to payments in the Metaverse. As an example, consider the current game division. This is because there is a price difference between a game on different console platforms, and there is also a division situation. So, currency exchange rate problems will arise if Metaverse Universe has transactions conducted internationally and settled according to the traditional legal currency. Through initiatives such as GPI and Swift Go, Swift has improved the efficiency of cross-border payments. Moreover, the G20 has also established a roadmap for strengthening cross-border payments. Comprised of 5 and 19 improvements to enhance the effectiveness of global cross-border payments, which should also benefit the development of Metaverse. Also, Chinese regulators are paying attention to a relatively invisible issue, which is ethics. Meanwhile, XRP is a pre-mined currency that functions as an intermediary and exchange mechanism between two currencies and networks. In addition, XRP is mined more simply compared to Bitcoin. XRP facilitates quick currency conversion on the Ripple network for its various customers, including major banks and financial institutions. Therefore, I believe it's highly likely soon that Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse will be a partner with Ripple, especially since it's the best cryptocurrency in terms of disrupting the financial or payment system today. That's all for this video about crypto, and thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on the crypto market, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.